Hi, I'm Lee Krieger from Windcatcher RC, and this video is sponsored by Windcatcher RC. You recall what class this is? For Mobile. All right, well, come with me and let's throw it. Well, pay attention to your winding instead of giving us a running commentary on the winder. Stay with it. Stay with it. Hold on, how many turns you got in? Yeah, you got to put in a few more. Keep going. You're doing good. No, 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 don't come in yet. He's got it. Go. There you go. Uh, that's how you do it. Uh. Now Daddy gets the, uh, hold that when I tell you to. Just wait. We want to see if we can let it go as long as we can. Yep. All right, it's going to clear the trees, so we're going to let it glide around. Just have your hand ready on the button when I tell you to. All right, so we're gliding. Oh. Now it's time to push it? If you want to. Plop. All right, let's give this a quick test glide. I got rid of too much stab tilt. Dang. Let's give it another go here. And there we see. Don't hit the fence. It hit the fence. Dang it. There we go. Oh, that's fun. It is getting tossed around a good one back there. But there you can see it. Oh, sorry. Glide's all right. What are you talking about struggling? <laughs> There's that beautiful, beautiful glide. Look at that thing hunting lift. DT it down. All right, let's see what she does. Well, that's gone poorly. <laughs> that was a terrible one. All right, guys, I am here with Lee Krieger, and Lee Krieger has made this video possible through a generous contribution of, uh, first of all, a very nice winder. We've talked about that in a few previous videos. That is the Andrikov 5 to 1 uh, Wakefield winder, the best that money can buy. And uh, Lee also provided all of the foam cutting, all of the logistical materials and so on uh, towards the creation of this airplane. So Lee, what, uh, what, what do you want people to know about Windcatcher RC? So at Windcatcher RC, we provide EPP foam, carbon fiber, and other RC accessories. So, <laughs> Lee's not used to doing this part on camera. This is the fantastic part, and I love it. Uh, Lee is our supplier for carbon fiber, so he has the best prices in the business. And go, go check. Go check. You cannot beat his prices. I promise you can't. I've tried. Lots of people have. And now, now somebody's grabbing the camera from me. This is perfect. This is, this is so going to be the final cut. <laughs> All right, so, so tell us about a, a few about, uh, about a few of the projects that you've, you've been involved in that you can tell us about, including some of the, maybe some of the sponsored ones. So uh, in the last two years, I helped sponsor uh, Ben Harbor's C47. I did a partial sponsor on that with carbon fiber, some wiring, and... Uh, Batteries. Uh, batteries, yeah, a lot of the batteries that went into yeah. it. Um, and then uh, for 2023, I helped sponsor his A26 that um, he's still building. He's almost done. We'll we, have a link we, down uh, in the description for that for those of you that are not familiar. Uh, I know not everybody watching this is into radio control. Some of you are pure free flight, some of you are pure RC. Um, but it's worth looking at that, so check it out. And uh, so I've also helped sponsor the Nats here in Muncie, which is where we're at today. 
Um, yeah. I, I'm a silver sponsor um, for our 100th, 100th anniversary yes. of the Nationals. And, the, and we are, by the way, for those who don't know, this we are on location at the 100th anniversary of the Mulvihole Trophy Contest, which is the original U.S. Nationals. So we're here having some history. Unfortunately, none of the footage you're seeing is, is filmed here. So, oh well, well there, there'll be more later, more on that later. So um, Lee is sponsoring a secret project that a few, that a few, all of you will find out about <laughs> very soon so this project is kind of the lead-in to that and it is it's the coolest project ever I'm looking it was, it, forward it's, to it. it's I, his fault it, too yeah, it's his it's, fault it's it was his to, idea he called me up secret. about it I, I've been telling people I'm working on a secret and I've, been, all I say. I've been struggling to keep it quiet it's <laughs> it's pretty awesome yeah. all right well uh, Lee has to run because it's getting late and you've got to get actually get home. three hour drive I'm so, heading out right now <laughs> so um yep. so Back to crazy film Mulvey Hill uh, and uh, check out Windcatcher RC at uh, is windcatcherrc.com. Windcatcherrc.com. Um, and I won't give out your awesome email, but y'all will get his email as soon as you <laughs> order from him. It's pretty epic. <laughs> All right, we'll see you. Finally installing shows a hint of damping out. Yay. Perfect. Finally got the glide trim correctly. Alright guys, so um, I know you haven't gotten to see a lot of the flying of this yet, but it's, you know, it's here. Um, the, the part that I regret not being able sh to show you is that amazing glide that this thing makes. Maybe we'll get a minute here just to kind of show you that. Since I got a smooth patch in front of me, we'll see what happens. Right. So hopefully this, this works. Nope. There it is upside down. Yes, it just blew through. Sorry. They picked this sucker up. Oh dang. I'm having trouble holding on to it and doing the whole camera thing. Y'all are getting looks at sky. This is just sad. Right, let's try one more time. Yeah, you can tell. It floats. It really really floats um, this thing has so I, I I do need to mention I have um, a pair of airplanes that we're gonna hopefully you will be seeing them before you see this but if not they're around uh, Hope and I have a pair of Bud Romac dominators which are they are standard competition multi hill planes um, it's a very very solid design has won the Nats I think more than once um, and you know, we've got two of them, they fly awesome. They are basically a downscale of the Dawn Patrol. Uh, but anyway, uh, so we've got those and they, they fly great. I don't think they glide as well as this airplane does. So this is where I mentioned uh, this airplane, uh, the airfoils, I'd like to thank Don Deloach uh, out in Colorado. He helped me pick out airfoils for this airplane. And then Lee Krieger cut uh, the wing and the tail and all that for it. So uh, really, really uh, good engineering 
uh, that I was provided with all around on this. Uh, right now we're still using a cast off prop that I bought off of eBay uh, as far as the blades. Um, but the ideal blades for the, these would be the 24 inch blades from Mike Curta uh, that we sell. So um, that would be what, what this is really designed to use. Um, and there were, uh, you'd actually get a little higher climb rate with them than what you get with the, these because these are kind of crazy high pitch. Uh, which makes the, the plane harder to trim, frankly. Now, you've, you've heard the good, here's the bad. The bad is I have to build another fuselage because this one's twisting pretty badly. Um, at uh, That was about 350 turns, and we're getting, uh, I think it's about five, six degrees of fuselage twist there. And I didn't check what the torque was, but I think that would be about 15 inch ounces of torque, which is not much. Because uh, this motor is intended to take about 80 inch ounces of torque. Um, and, and so that indicates this fuselage would just twist in half at that point. So I've got Depron on order, uh, three millimeter Depron instead of this three millimeter EPP, um, which Lee was so kind as to supply this one to me. Um, and, and no fault to him, I, I chose the material thinking that, hey, it's CA safe, you know, it ought to work. Um, and it's just, it's, it's uh, too rubbery, so it doesn't work for this application. Um, EPP is a, a fine material, uh, just not for, a for an application that requires a very rigid structure. Um, also would like to thank BMK uh, Free Flight Electronics. Um, they did not provide the, uh, the, the timing mechanism here for free, but the tracking bugs um, they did. We're a dealer for, for BMK, so I just, I pull timers and servos and whatnot from stock. Um, but, uh, they, they have supplied a GPS tracker, uh, for this project. So I should mention there's, there's more to this project. There's more coming. Um, but this is the initial feasibility study. We've proven we can build a foam multi hill that works. There's going to be more on this as, uh, as the Depron saga uh, unfolds. Uh, but right now, super pumped about this project. This is, this is awesome. This thing flies great, uh, very easy to trim. Uh, and, and so it's, and it, and it flies good. It's pretty durable. I mean, that hit on that fence post would have smashed a balsa leading edge. So the little dent I've got here, yeah, no big deal. Plus the plane builds in like a quarter of the time that it takes to build a Dominator. Dominator is an awesome airplane, but it takes a lot longer and it's more fragile. Uh, it is a little heavier, or sorry, this is a little heavier. This is 9.7 ounces right now, which is a little on the heavy side. Uh, now that's fully loaded up. So it's uh, probably about five ounces uh, without rubber, maybe less than that, maybe four and a half, which is not a terrible weight. It's just a little on the porky side for what you'd really like, um, but it's, it's, uh, that being said, I would not feel at a disadvantage taking this to a national championship and flying it, and uh, and and it would have the potential to win. So anyway, uh, let's see what happens with Depron. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J and H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching. Oh, that was close. And stalling out. Talking about rough weather.